Well, they're the ones that put the show together. Um, you might not know it. You might sit at home. You think the talent is the ones that run the show, but it's really the production behind the scenes that want to get the show on the air. The production crew is absolutely essential. How you have to be on your feet and you always have to be paying attention. Okay, take two, Mike and Q. There's something about doing live TV. It's a different animal than doing any sort of other kind of production. Something that you can't learn in a textbook. It's just invaluable experience. You never settle for the status quo. The cherry on top of your entire journalism experience. People are depending on our on our jobs to, for them to get a job in the future. It's the second home. We couldn't get on the air without them. Um, the production crew no, makes it happen. They are the camera people, the floor director, the folks who are directing it, uh, taking um, audio from multiple resources and sources, um, back in video playback. I, you know, the face in front of the camera is only a part of the story. The production crew of Capital News Service's Broadcast Bureau is entirely a volunteer organization. I started doing CNS because I had an interest in television. I wanted to find um, something I could get my hands or get my foot through the door and just start with something. So I contacted a uh, Sue Copen Kachev, who's the bureau director here, and she led me to the CNS. Initially, it was just a part of my media participation project for my Journalism 200 class. But after a couple times, I realized I really liked the production side of it, and I found it really interesting. And I actually came into the college thinking I wanted to do multi-platform, but after working with CNS, I decided that I wanted to do broadcast. So I kept going with it just to get a real professional experience because I feel like it's really telling of what a production job is. I love being in the studio. I love doing live broadcasts. I like that I can do all the positions and not just be not just be bogged down to one. It's like a step before you go into a real newsroom. Um, so it teaches you pretty much the majority of the experience you need. It's, it's not like you're sitting in a desk and you're learning about production, you're actually doing it. It's really evolved since our beginnings in the spring of 2001, uh, where it was strictly just the CNSers who were the production team and the on-air talent and basically everything, and those of us in the faculty helping as well too, um, to this sort of self-sustaining volunteer organization so that it becomes this sort of own entity so that you all have an opportunity to become part of a team and you know, a production that seems to be doing pretty well for the really police work. I don't see how anybody who wants to be in broadcasting would be. I don't see how anybody would want to miss this because this is, this is what you're going to be doing after you graduate. This is a class. This is basically something that the students use to help them get a job. So they use what they make through CNS and put it into a resume reel and they send that out to different jobs to help hopefully get a job in the future. It is a lot of pressure because people are depending on our on our jobs to, for them to get a job in the future. To make a 30 minute show, it takes way, it takes days. And when everything goes well, it's just the effort that you get, it's, it's indescribable. CNS airs Tuesday through Thursday at 6.30 p.m. Check it out at cnsmaryland.org or on channel 73 on campus. One, two, three, keep it up! That's three. All right. <laughs>